goes, my name is Sedi and thank you so much for watching this video. And for today, we're going to have another lecture discussion on some mental disorders, giving you the signs and symptoms, the diagnostic criteria, and the treatment plan for every disorder. I hope that this video is useful for you. And please, if this is your first time to visit my channel, please do subscribe at my channel and hit that bell button for you to get notified whenever I post a new video into another lecture discussion and for this time we're going to have a, a discussion about autism spectrum disorders so this is a childhood developmental disorder okay and this will really probably go towards adulthood so autism spectrum disorder is really varied there are a lot of other disorders included in this umbrella so it came from the word auto which means the self all right, so I'm going to really make, I'm really going to uh, try my best to really discuss as much as information that I could have, but I cannot really promise you to really discuss everything because again, sobrang varied po ng ganitong disorder, ang dami po niyang mga concepts. All right, so let's define autism spectrum disorder. So this is a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects how one perceives and socializes with others. Okay, so according to the towards DSM-5, this is combined most of the disorders previously included under the umbrella term pervasive developmental disorders. So this includes autistic disorders, Asperger's disorders, and mental and childhood disintegrative disorder. So under sila sa isang category for DSM-5. So clinically, there are two major characteristics when we discuss about ASD. Number one is persistent deficits in the social communication and social interaction across multiple contexts. So, for example, kapag merong problem when it comes to our socializing, okay, so pabalik-balik yung action mo, deficits in nonverbal communication, okay, also deficits in developing, maintaining, and understanding relationships. Okay, so probably makikita to sa mga bata. Kapag hindi makatingin yung bata sa iyo sa mata, okay, that's one of the signs. Alright, another here is second symptoms or second diagnostic criteria is restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interest, or activities as manifested by at least two of the following currently and by history. Okay, so for example, a stereotype or yung pabalik-balik na mga motor movements, so simple uh, motor behavior, so galaw ka ng galaw, yung action mo, paulit-ulit lang, okay? So, another is insistence or sameness, inflexible adherence to some routines, ba? So, you have that ritual behavior that you always do, kahit na hindi na siya nag, kahit it doesn't really make sense. So, you just keep on doing that over and over again. Highly restricted, fixated interests that are abnormal, alright? So, for example, you have strong attachments towards unusual objects and hindi ka maka-focus. Yung focus mo talaga, hindi talaga ganun ka intense compared towards other kids. Okay. So, um, another is hyperactive or hypo, hypo reactive towards um, interest or fix or towards sensory input or unusual interest in some aspects in the environment. So, yun lang. Yung focus mo, nawawala. Ganun. So, 1 in 160 children has ASD. Alright? So, ASD begins sa bata. And this will really persist towards adolescence and adulthood. So, wala pang cure towards having autism spectrum disorder. But early intervention can have really guarantee a good and positive effects on the long run. So, yung development mo will really uh, prog progress later on in your development in your in your life. So, evidence-based psychosocial in interventions such as behavioral treatment and of course parental skills training programs are very important. So, if you are like a parent and you have a kid like this or if you have child having having autism spectrum disorder so kailangan talaga you are you need to be patient and as and as well you should learn kung saan mo siya ng mga saan clinics mo siya pwede dalhin like for some for like for some therapies for him to undergo physical interventions and social interventions and so on and so forth so again 
just to make it clear, okay, so autism spectrum disorder range to conditions that are characterized to degree of impaired social behavior. So, yun talaga, hindi po ibig sabihin kapag you have ASD, you have a problem towards learning. Alright, so a lot of ASD um, patients or happy people having autism spectrum disorders, they are highly functional. They can even solve math problems. They are, they are intellectual. All right. So there is just a probably a degree of impaired social behavior, communication and language and a narrow range of interest and activities that are both unique to the individual and carried out repeatedly. What I've learned is when you have autism spectrum disorder, this does not really correspond, okay? So no. so even if you have this, it you can also have certain um certain disorders like pwede kang magkaroon ng ADHD. Pwede kang magkaroon ng, um, ng specific learning disorder. So, pwede siya maging comorbid to other neurodevelopmental disorders. So, this persists into adolescence and adulthood and even apparent to the first five years of your life. Individuals with ASD often present other co-occurring conditions including epilepsy, depression, anxiety, ADHD, Okay, and even the level of intellectual functioning in individuals is affected. Okay, so this could be profoundly impaired to superior levels. So, ganon. Okay, so the causes of this probably is genetics. All right, so available ep epidemiological data are conclusive that there is no evidence of a, of a causal association between measles, mumps, and rivula vaccine. So, let's discuss more about ASD. So, ASD again, this is an umbrella term, okay, that really characterize um, a person having um, social problems or failure to socialize with others effectively. All right. Interventions during early childhood is, is really important to promote the optimal development and well-being of people with ASD. So, I've watched this series. This is atypical. So, kakatapos ko lang po nito. And ang dami kong na-learn, I can really recommend for you to watch this series. This is about the story of this kid named um, Sam Gardner. So, he has ASD and he is really highly functional. And yun, it is really a big adventure of how he has his job and goes to his college and so on and all of his difficulties and all of his and all of his struggles you know ba balancing everything having this condition okay so yeah i hope that you can watch that series in netflix and you can surely learn a lot about asd okay so um Difficulties in social communication and interaction is really the most defining factor of of this disorder. Okay? So, yun nga, yung hindi ka makatingin sa mata. Sometimes you have a problem um, focusing. Okay? So, those noises that you hear, minsan nagiging irritable yung isang tao. Hindi siya makapag-focus. Hindi siya makapag-focus yung mga simple gestures or yung mga sounds, yung grabe na mga music. So, sometimes this irritates the person. Okay? And uh, this can result na pwede siyang magkaroon ng mga tantrums. Alright? So, the person can also become violent at some point. And uh, basically, yun. Alright? So, Asperger's disorder naman, this is um, a minimal form of ASD. Okay, so, as what I know about Asperger's disorder is, uh, your IQ is okay, okay, but uh, the problem is in terms of communication with others. Alright, so, ayun. Okay, let's go to social and economic impact. So, ASD may significantly limit the capacity of an individual to conduct daily activities and participate in society. So, there is always this uh, there is always this discrimination towards people having autism spectrum disorders or what they or what they call people under the spectrum. 
So they have this negative influence on the person's educational and social attainments as well as employment opportunities. That's why having therapy sessions is really important if you have this ASD or when you know a person having autism spectrum disorder. So it's really important to help them to live independently, to really train the person to live independently as much as possible. Okay? So to help that person go with a job and go with go go with life to be general. All right. So if you have any questions, I'm really happy to answer some questions from you and I hope that you find this lecture even if I cannot really just discuss so much about uh, about this type of disorder but I think I have really um, focused towards the major highlights of autism spectrum disorders just please uh, put your comments on the comment section below and I'm very happy to answer questions thank you so much for listening you guys and see you soon to my next lecture and that's all for today my egos thank you so much for watching I hope you share this to others and don't forget to subscribe Subscribe.